Monday afternoon marked the beginning of the third week of Seattle Rain FC training camp. And with each passing day, it brings continued progression as a team and a growing excitement for that home opener on April 13th. This is our third week and uh, this past week we spent a lot of time working on our defensive side of the game and so just being together as a team, getting all the players in, everybody on the pitch playing all at once and then going over our you know, defensive principles that we're going to apply in our season has been huge. So I think as far as that goes, uh, we've seen a lot of progress and improvement. Uh, you know, week three we're going to be focusing on more of our offensive side of the game so I'm uh, more excited for, for that side I think. It's been a long off season and uh, we're just raring to go and you can see in the sessions that the players are working really hard to, to get themselves in that starting 11 and, and to try and achieve our ultimate game which is to be competitive in this league. With the beginning of the regular season also comes a consistent schedule that players are looking forward to. April 13th I think is in everybody's mind. Uh, not only for the game but you know we've been in two a days for the last two weeks. We're, this is our third week of two a days so I think everybody at this point is yeah, people are excited for April 13th that it's a game, but I also think people are excited just to get into the normal rhythm of, you know, one practice and, you know, recovery and not having tired legs all the time. Seattle has used the intensity of training camp to build a hard working culture that is vital for any successful organization. They're all big personalities, all different characters in their own right. Um, and yeah, that their ultimate aim is to be the best they can be. So that enables them to have one common goal, which is to work hard in every training training practice that we do. And uh, you see that every day. And then gradually, you know, different characteristics and personalities shine through. And um, you know, we like to have an environment where players turn up every day and want to be here. So I think we've created that. The different personalities on Rain FC's roster means there is never a shortage of locker room fun. Getting everybody on the field, playing all at once, everybody's learning each other's habits and, and tendencies. But not only that, but kind of like the, the everyday banter that's going on. It's I, And that's huge. I think the, the team camaraderie and the chemistry, uh, you know, is, it's going to be great. I can already tell. So Naomi Kawasumi is the latest player to join Rain FC's camp. And she's already been welcomed to the team by earning a nickname on her very first day. In Japan, she goes by Naho, but her full name's Nahomi. And so naturally, we were like, well, it's, it should be homie, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, we're going to be calling her homie. I'm not sure how she's going to like it, but uh, I, think, I think that's the nickname of choice right now. The nickname was followed by English lessons from the professors at Rain FC. Uh, well, Laura, Laura, whenever she likes something, she says amazeballs. So <laughs> it's like amazing, but amazeballs. So uh, we've taught her, we've taught her that word, and it's. Uh, we told her that she, maybe she shouldn't use it in, in everyday English. Maybe just here with <laughs> the Seattle Rain. You were probably the worst English teacher of all time. I uh, think. yeah, I don't think her Eng English tutor is going to be happy when she starts dropping amazeballs. <laughs>